Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. this nonsense! All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback, but now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. This isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander.
There are new places to explore in a monastery. Alright. Got some good. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. The Knights are well aware of our enemy strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Thank you. A girl's voice, what could it mean? Hmm. Well, it's time to explore. Wait, no. I don't have to change my attire. Have you not been told what's expected from lectures here? Well, I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. Alright. Sorry, I haven't been speaking too much. When you instruct your students, they gain skill experience. As their skill levels increase, they will gain access to new abilities and common arts. The number of people against start is indicated by your activity points at the top of the screen. Alright. Before starting a lecture, it's a good idea to determine everyone's academic goals. Students will want to prioritize studying things that will help them achieve their aim. Hmm, okay. Students studying on their own and can earn skill experience according to their skill goals. Results are reported at the end of the week. It's probably hmm. easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. 
Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their personal goals as well. By looking beyond their preferences, some students may find they're interested in fields they've never previously considered. A student's goals may change based on their studies or the experience they gain while on missions. When that happens, perhaps you could help them decide what new goals they should set for themselves. How motivated a student is will affect how well your tutoring goes. To help cultivate their motivation, I think it's a good idea to interact with your students as much as possible. Please try your best to motivate everyone so that they, in turn, will try hard with their assignments and activities. At the Officers' Academy, students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. If you instruct your students to work together as a team, it will help to deepen their bonds and produce better results. Have you heard about the certification exams? They take place every month. Everyone here is working hard to become a certain type of soldier, and those tests are how you can check to see how far we've come. In order to pass the exam, you need to train enough to become whatever class you're aiming for. Take care to develop your students strategically so that they can pass their certification exams. I have a question for you, Professor. When I take a lecture and I'm interested, I go, I get so sleepy, I just can't help it. I just give up the stink, close my eyes, and enjoy a peaceful slumber. Hmm. If you take an interest, so now, um, uh, try getting plenty of sleep before the lecture. I see. Thank you very much. It is a perfect day to exert oneself. Ugh, whatever. There's one thing taken care of. In battle, it's necessary to deploy battalions so that students can experience taking command. I doubt I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please don't hesitate to ask.
I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I will prevail. That's my cue. Oh no. Ugh. Battle. Put me in there. Stay focused. As you wish. I will get the victory. Only a fool challenges me. Should I have held back? Pride. It past me. I won't go down so easily.
we done yet? battle a chance to grow. Worked hard for nothing. It's still raring to go. Oh. 
expected. Such power dwells within? Your defeat was inevitable. I can fight through anything. Experience is worth having. What a jump! A fine display. One more success. And I didn't even enjoy it. Okay. 
not an option. One step at a time. Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. Our voices are all over the place. We must learn to work together in harmony. Okay, um, let's go. We will work with each other. I am having a report, Professor. My efforts were not in vain. The battlefield has much to teach. Seems simple enough. I'm getting it. Hope this is good for something. You came at just the right time, Edelgard. Is that so? Yes, I have a story for you. It's about a pair of nobles living about a hundred years after the founding of the Adrestian Empire. One was Derek Von Eyer. People called him the warrior prime minister. He bravely led soldiers into battle and mowed down his enemies. And the other... ...was the emperor of the time. She wagered the throne in a duel against Derek and won. Why don't we do what our ancestors did and have a little duel ourselves? That's what you were going to say. But the answer is no. You interrupted me! The warrior prime minister used a dramatic line to propose the duel, and you did not allow me to say it! My apologies, Ferdinand. Well, at any rate, you were correct in surmising that I was about to challenge you. But you were rather blunt in your refusal. Ferdinand, control yourself. When will you tire of challenging me in pointless competitions? I can quit now if you insist on it. I will not challenge you again. You expect me to believe that? Why do you look so surprised? Of course it is not a valid duel unless both parties are willing. Now that you have refused outright, I must come up with some other way of getting that which I seek. I'm afraid to ask what you could possibly mean by that. Only that I will find some other way of showing everyone that I am superior to you. Huh. I will write a handbill listing your accomplishments, alongside my own more impressive accomplishments. Copyists will produce thousands of these pamphlets and distribute them far and wide. Then everyone will know about my... 
This has to stop. <sighs> Perhaps I should have ended things with a duel after all. Thank you.